Hey, yo, 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 what up, YouTube? You guys already know who it is. It's your boy Zay for Life once again with another video. 2K17 is on the track. And today, guys, I got a video, an informational video. Not even information. It's being straight up with you guys. Like, if one thing you all should know about me, I like to be honest about everything. I'm about to be straight up with everybody who plays 2K, Xbox or PlayStation, even though I got a PlayStation. But listen up. What I'm going to talk about today is basically going to help you become a, a better or improve your game or how to become a successful um, 2K Pro Am player. <clears throat> now, in three simple steps, I'm going to t uh, talk about and I'm going to teach you guys how to like analyze a team, how to shoot better and how to pass better. Now, I'm going to start with analyzing a team. Now, for me, to be honest, a good team to fit around my player, which is a 16.4, I have to have at least two shooters beside me because I can actually shoot the ball pretty good to be a point forward. So I need two more shooters uh, added to my team, and I also need like a cool like two post players. And when I have that, I feel like I can I can't even be stopped. But if you're like a guard, I feel like you know you should ask for the same thing at least two posts and two shooters. If you're a big man, just give me, just say, give me another big man and give me a couple of shooters and I got a team going. But I know in Pro-Am Walk-On, they put you with some, some of the dumbest people in the world sometimes. And I'll be like, bro, what the, f why do you even have a system? But with that being said, analyzing a team, make sure you know your team around you. Make sure you know what everybody can do. Like, you won't find out what everybody can do after the first quarter. Pro and walk on, or if you just saw some, if somebody you just met somebody, they like come run a team with me. You gonna know what everybody can do after the first quarter, cause you didn't play the whole five minutes with them, so you know what what's going on. Now, with that being said, that brings me to my second point of passing the ball, guys. Like, it's there's been so many times where people miss wide open opportunities. And what it is, bro, it's the people that wants, that thinks they're like the best already. Bro, you don't have to score 20, 30, 40 a, a freaking Pro-Am game just to prove who you are, bro. The thing about it, bro, to be honest, if you win the game, bro, everybody's going to notice you. Just win the game. Show that you can win games. Bro, I don't, I hardly even score sometimes, bro, but I, I'll be satisfied with winning the game. I don't care if I have five points, five rebounds, five assists. That five points, five rebounds, and five assists contributed to the win. So I don't care about how many times I didn't touch the ball, how many times I didn't touch the ball, how many times I shot it, how many times I was trying to go cross somebody up, go dunk on somebody. I don't care about all that. Bro, it's all, the, it's all about winning, bro. At the end of the day, it's all about winning. Did you do in your did you do your best to make sure your team won? And when I lose, bro, I feel like I failed everybody. Even if I just had five points, I failed everybody. Or I can even score 30, but still though. But passing the ball is is probably the best thing on this game that anybody can do. And what I mean by that, I'm talking about like when you see somebody cutting in, bro, hit the cut every time. I don't care if somebody's on them, bro. They're going to get a foul or they're going to make the shot, bro. It's nine times out of ten. This, this shit is going to happen. But you can't, I mean, like, nobody else can control that. You're just going to have to, like, just pray about it and keep going. But, yeah, guys, like, for real, pass, pass the ball. That's, that's the main thing I just want to tell everybody, bro. If you don't do anything else, bro, just make, don't be ashamed to make that extra pass or to pass out of a shot. If you're going to, if you feel like you just have to shoot it all the time, bro, I don't even want you to touch the ball on my team, bro. I don't want no shooters. I want unselfish people. And this is me talking for myself. Now, I don't know about everybody else, but I'm saying, bro, for a pro-am team, walk on or team period, bro, you have to to not be selfish, bro. Don't think about yourself. Now, I understand, bros. My brodies. I understand, bros. It's time that you's like, man, nobody else is doing something. I have to catch up and maybe they will spark a plug. And I understand that because it'd be times, even in my pro-am team, I'd be like, bro, ain't nobody scoring. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody doing nothing right now. So maybe if I just, you know, do a little shake and bake move or just try to take into the rim or make a good shot, I might spark my teammates up. And you know, nine times out of ten, I do. 
And that's what you guys need to do. Just start passing the ball and seeing the results happen. Now, my third tip to you guys. Shooting. Oh, my God, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, this man is one of a fucking kind, bro. Can't nobody in their lifetime, real life or video games, can ever shoot like this man. Okay, so get that out your head. I don't care if you're in the NBA. I don't care if you play 2K. I don't care if you in the high school ball, middle school ball, college ball. Can't nobody shoot like this man can. So, with that being said, stop freaking looking for a three every possession. Like, I have to tell people that all the time, like, bro, it's not all about threes. It's all about getting the quickest bucket possible. If it is a three, then goddamn, shoot the ball, bro. If it is, if you're wide open. But it doesn't have to be a three every possession, bro. Like, I don't get it. Like, what is, like, please tell me, like, what is, what is so crazy about just shooting a three every single possession like that really pisses me off bro now i bro i swear to god bro you can ask anybody i play with i think the most shots i ever took in a game a full game bro is probably i want to say 15 shots bro and i scored 30 points off taking 15 shots and i made probably 13 i ain't gonna say i'm hit every shot but and then people see people sit there and be like well, how do you have a good percentage or how do you shoot so good if you're just a point four? I don't take many shots like you guys do. I don't sit there and just ch uh, uh, chunk up threes, three after three after three, every possession. And then finally I get one and say, oh, okay, now I can start hitting them. Keep, uh, keep on going on and hitting them. No. Bro, like, come on, guys, bro. Shooting is something you should cherish if you're wide open. Like, if you're wide open, I don't care if you're a big man. A big man can even hit one. Bro, if you're wide, booty butt open, bro, shoot the ball. Bro, see, like, bro, like, like crap like this. Like, why why do people have need to, like, feel the need to just shoot every possession, bro? I don't get it. But, with all that being said, guys. Just learn, just just basically learn your team around you. Like, don't don't be too far. Don't be so big headed into yourself. Like, I'm I'm the shit, so I don't have to pass the bro. Don't be like that, bro. Analyze your team, and then on top of that, pass the ball. After you analyze, pass the ball, and then after you passing the ball, and sometimes they they don't score, or if they even scoring, if you feel like taking a shot, take a a great uh, quality shot, wide open quality shot. Don't settle for no bull crap. I mean, God, bro, I don't, I think it's these pro-am games I've been playing in the last couple of games, bro, it's like, people, what do you think? But, you guys already know what to do, like, comment, subscribe to my channel, tell me what you like and don't like, I got more videos coming on the way, but I just feel like I have to get this shit off my chest, bro, because this is crazy, bro, it's ridiculous, like, who really thinks to take this many shots and not pass the ball at all, bro, I like assists, but, that's just me. Comment down below. Tell me what you think about it. Tell me your opinion on it. Tell me how what what, uh, what else I should talk about. And tell me how you feel about just people. If you uh, play with people like this, like tell me what you feel about them. But I got more videos coming your way. Thank you for watching, guys.